Hello, welcome back. In this video, let us understand about perimeter of polygons. What is polygon? Polygon is a figure, closed figure which will have many sides. And what is perimeter? Perimeter is the total length of its outer boundary. Here, it is the sum of the length of the sides or segment that make up the shape's boundary. Perimeter is nothing but the length of its boundary. Next, let us find out the perimeter of a rectangle. How to find out a perimeter of a rectangle? A rectangle is a four-sided polygon in which the opposite sides are of equal length. We all know in rectangle, the opposite sides are of equal length. So here, if DA is 3 cm, C, B will also be 3 cm, right? And if A, B is 9 cm, D, C will also be 9 cm as the opposite sides are of equal length in rectangle. Now, to find out the perimeter of a rectangle, that is rectangle A, B, C, D, we know the two sides of the rectangle are of same length. So, two sides and the length and the breadth. We have to add the length and the breadth. So here 2 into what is the length? 9 cm and the breadth is 3 cm. Instead of adding 9 plus 9 and 3 plus 3, we can add 9 plus 3 and multiply with 2, right? So here 2 into 9 plus 3 is nothing but 12. So now we have 12. 12 into 3, 2 is equal to 24 centimeter. So, the perimeter of rectangle ABCD is 24 centimeter. If you add as 3 plus 3 and 9 plus 9 also you will get the same answer as 24 centimeter because perimeter is nothing but the length of the outer boundary. Next, let us find out the perimeter of a square. A square is a four-sided polygon in which all sides are of equal length. In rectangle, opposite sides are of equal length, but in square, all the sides are of equal length. Here is a square. If one side is given as 8, we can understand that all sides of the square are of 8 cm only, right? So here, perimeter of the square equals PQ plus QR plus RS plus SP. Yes, instead of adding like this, it is four sides. Square will have four sides. It is a four sided polygon, right? So, four into side, that is eight centimeter, right? So, four into eight centimeter, instead of adding eight four times, we will multiply with eight. So, eight four times is 32 centimeter. So here the perimeter of a square PQRS is equal to 32 centimeter. Let us understand to find the perimeter of a triangle. Triangle is a three-sided polygon. Yes. So in this triangle one side is given as 4 centimeter, another side is given as 8 centimeter and one more side is given as 8 centimeter. So here We'll have to add all the three sides to find out its perimeter. So, perimeter of triangle XYZ is equal to XY plus YZ plus ZX. That is 4 cm. It is the sum of its sides. That is 4 cm plus 8 cm plus 8 cm. So, it will be 18 cm. So, the perimeter of the given triangle XYZ is 18 cm. It's nothing but the sum of its sides. Next, perimeter of an irregular quadrilateral. Look at this figure. This is irregular quadrilateral where the length of all sides are unequal. It is also four-sided polygon but length of all its sides are unequal. Here Wx is 8 cm, Xy is Wx is 9 cm, Xy is 8 cm, Yz is 7 cm and Zw is 
six centimeter. All the lengths of all sides are unequal. Even though it is unequal, we just have to add all its sides to find out the perimeter of this given quadrilateral, right? So here, perimeter of quadrilateral W X Y Z is equal to X Y plus Y Z plus Z W plus W X means sum of all sides, sum of its sides. That is X Y eight centimeter, Y Z seven centimeter, Z W six centimeter, and W X. 9 cm. When we add all its sides, we will get the total as 30 cm. So, the perimeter of the quadrilateral WXYZ is 30 cm. So, students, I hope the video was useful to find out the perimeter of the polygons. Thanks for watching and keep supporting.